Masters of Scale by Reid Hoffman is a must-read for aspiring entrepreneurs who want to learn the art of scaling up their business. In this book, Reid Hoffman, the founder of LinkedIn and an expert in startups, provides a fascinating mix of anecdotal stories and practical guidance to help entrepreneurs launch their products and grow their companies. The book is full of case studies and stories behind some of the world's biggest companies, such as PayPal, Airbnb, Facebook, and Netflix. It isolates the principles behind their success and provides insight into the importance of timing, leadership, culture, and the ability to adapt. With these insights, entrepreneurs can make the best of unpredictable situations and achieve immense growth and satisfaction. Reid Hoffman's perspective on scaling up is based on his own experience and the lessons he has learned from his work with various successful startups. His book explores how having a crazy idea might mean you are onto something big, how not having a 9-to-5 brings out the best in Netflix employees, and how Twitter sprang from the ashes of a podcast publishing platform. In summary, Masters of Scale is an educational and insightful read for entrepreneurs who want to scale up their business. The book provides practical guidance and real-life success stories that highlight the importance of timing, leadership, culture, and the ability to adapt. By following these principles, entrepreneurs can turn their humble products into household names. Idea 1. Learning from no to succeed in business. Rejection is an inevitable part of life, especially when it comes to starting a business. Catherine Minshew, the founder of The Muse, heard no 148 times before securing the funding she needed to build her successful online career platform. However, instead of giving up, Minshew used each rejection as an opportunity to improve her pitch and approach. When faced with rejection, it's essential to evaluate the feedback you receive. Sometimes, a no can provide valuable insight into potential fixes for your business idea. For instance, if an investor rejects a proposal for a chain of kickboxing gyms in Florida due to concerns about the elderly population, this could indicate a need to adjust your pitch or explore alternative locations. Alternatively, the rejection may reveal a bias that you don't want to associate with. It's also crucial to consider who is delivering the rejection. Sometimes, people may offer a no out of love or concern for your well-being, which may not necessarily reflect on the quality of your idea. In contrast, others may be unwilling to put in the effort to understand your vision and dismiss your proposal lazily. On the other hand, it's essential to pay attention to the honest no from individuals you respect. They may have experience or expertise that you lack, making their feedback valuable to your business. The most exciting form of rejection is the squirmy no, where an idea polarizes a room. It can be challenging to get buy-in for unconventional ideas, but it also means that you're the first to try them out. Being a pioneer in uncharted territory can be incredibly rewarding and can lead to tremendous success. In summary, rejection is not the end of the road. It's an opportunity to evaluate and improve your approach and identify potential areas for growth. By learning from rejection, you can refine your business idea, secure the necessary funding, and achieve the success you desire. Idea 2. The importance of developing company culture early on. Scaling up a business is a major milestone, but it's important to take strategic steps before and during that process. One crucial aspect to consider is developing a strong company culture early on. This involves finding your early superfans and hypercritics, listening to their feedback, and figuring out your core values and principles. Once you've established your culture, it's important to hire people who align with your vision and values, while still committing to diversity. One great example of a company with a strong and deliberate culture is Netflix. The streaming giant's culture deck outlines over 100 slides of principles and values, including encouraging creative thinking and a team-oriented but competitive mindset. This culture has been instrumental in Netflix's success and has helped to create a positive work environment. Developing a clear culture from the beginning is essential because it's challenging to undo or change once it's established. It's also critical to hire people who align with your values and vision, as they will have an impact on the culture and the success of the business. Additionally, meaningful diversity should be a priority in hiring, as it can bring different perspectives and appreciation for the same core values. Overall, a strong company culture can create a positive environment for employees, 
improve morale, and lead to a successful business. By taking the time to develop your culture early on, you can set your business up for long-term success. Idea 3. Balancing Perfection and Momentum Entrepreneurs face a tough decision when launching their businesses, whether to wait until everything is perfect or to strike while the iron is hot. There's always a risk of losing potential customers if you launch too early with an unpolished product. However, waiting too long can cause your momentum to stall and competitors to get ahead. To strike the right balance, effective leaders must monitor changes in the business environment and know when to be patient and when to act fast. Rapid growth techniques can be effective but can also come with a hefty price tag and messy aftermath. When a business does achieve success, it's important to prioritize which fires to put out first. Any issue with the core product or company culture should come before less critical matters like upgrading office space. However, not all problems are equal. If there's a possibility that a significant issue could kill your business, it's important to stop and address it immediately. Ultimately, a successful launch requires finding the right balance between perfection and momentum. Don't be afraid to launch even if everything isn't perfect, but also be prepared to prioritize and address critical issues as they arise. Idea 4. How observing customer behavior can help scale your startup. One of the keys to scaling a startup is understanding your customers and their behavior. Instead of relying on what they say they want, it's essential to observe what they actually do and how they interact with your product or service. This can help you make informed decisions about how to grow and evolve your business. For example, when Mark Zuckerberg expanded Facebook beyond Harvard to other universities, users initially expressed their disappointment at the loss of exclusivity. However, the platform continued to grow, as users were actually more inclined to stay on when the network expanded. Similarly, Jennifer Hyman, co-founder of Rent the Runway, noticed that her customers weren't gravitating towards designer Jason Wu's clothes, despite fashionistas claiming to love them after Michelle Obama wore them. Hyman conducted her own focus groups and discovered that Wu's designs didn't match her customers' daily needs. This led to a profitable collaboration with Wu on a more wearable line for Rent the Runway. Observing customer behavior can also reveal opportunities for innovation. Hyman noticed that customers were keeping their rentals longer and wearing them to work, which was costing Rent the Runway in repair and cleaning costs. This led to the development of a subscription service that allowed customers to rent several outfits at a time and rotate them. To observe your customers' behavior, you can conduct your own focus groups, send surveys, or use analytics tools to track user engagement. By understanding how your customers are actually using your product or service, you can make informed decisions about how to evolve and scale your startup. Idea 5. The Power of Pivoting in Startup Scaling In the world of startup scaling, the ability to pivot is a crucial skill for success. When faced with unexpected obstacles or fierce competition, the flexibility to shift direction and adapt can often make the difference between failure and triumph. The story of E.V. Williams and the birth of Twitter serves as a prime example of the power of pivoting. When his podcast publishing platform Odeo was threatened by Apple's similar offering, Williams and his team held a hackathon and emerged with a completely different product, a group texting platform focused on status updates. This pivot ultimately led to the creation of Twitter, one of the most successful social media platforms in the world. The global coronavirus pandemic forced many companies to pivot in order to survive. Airbnb, for example, shifted its focus to offering long-term stays for people who wanted to relocate and work remotely. They also added unique components to stays, such as virtual experiences like salsa lessons and tours of local attractions. Sometimes, a pivot can even lead to the creation of a completely new business idea. Toby Lutke, for instance, was looking for a way to sell snowboards online but couldn't find the software he needed. He ended up creating his own platform, which led to the birth of Shopify. The ability to pivot is an important skill for any business, but it's not enough on its own. To truly harness the success of a pivot or drive any success to its maximum potential, strong leadership is necessary. Good leaders have the ability to navigate uncertainty, inspire their team, and make tough decisions when necessary. With both the skill of pivoting and strong leadership, 
a startup has the potential to achieve great things. Idea 6. The Importance of Leadership in Scaling Companies Scaling up a company can be an exciting and challenging endeavor. It involves taking a business from a small operation to a larger one with a greater impact. However, with this transition comes the need for effective leadership. Leaders must communicate their vision, sustain a steady drumbeat of purpose and motivation, and adapt to changes as the company grows. One of the key elements of leadership in scaling companies is the ability to communicate effectively with employees. When Angela Arendt joined Apple, she knew she needed to communicate her vision to all her new employees. She made a three-minute iPhone video that was natural and real, which was a hit with her team. She continued making videos every week for four years, inspiring and motivating her employees. Another important aspect of leadership is the ability to listen and learn. When scaling up, leaders need to be able to accept constructive criticism, encourage opposing viewpoints, and make adjustments when necessary. For example, MailChimp founder Ben Chestnut notes that when startups scale big, the culture makes a necessary adjustment. It goes from piracy to the Navy, with an influx of rules, accountability, and good behavior. Effective leadership can also involve challenging employees to learn something new. Marissa Mayer, Google employee number 20, didn't hire MBAs with lots of experience. Instead, she hired smart 23-year-olds and gave them a huge portfolio. Just as they were getting comfortable with their division, she had them switch into another division and challenge them to learn something new. This move resulted in a tsunami of new ideas that emerged from the synergy of a bunch of smart people being exposed to multiple ways of doing things. In the end, great leadership naturally flows into the final aspect of scaling big, doing good. Effective leaders prioritize the well-being of their employees, customers, and communities. They seek to create a positive impact on the world and make a difference. As companies scale, leaders must continue to prioritize their values and mission and lead by example. In conclusion, leadership is a critical component of scaling companies. Leaders must communicate their vision, listen and learn, challenge employees, and prioritize doing good. With effective leadership, companies can successfully transition from small operations to larger ones with greater impact. Idea 7. Scaling up for social impact. Scaling up a business can mean more than just making more profits. Successful entrepreneurs like Howard Schultz, Franklin Leonard, and Robert D. Smith have shown that scaling up can also lead to positive social impact. Howard Schultz, the owner of Starbucks, made a conscious decision to take care of his employees, even before the company started making a real profit. Starbucks became the first company in America to provide comprehensive health insurance to every employee, even part-time workers. Schultz also organized parents' weekends in China to curb worker turnover, which not only made for happy families but also helped in fostering goodwill. Sometimes, scaling up can fill a need in society. Franklin Leonard's anonymous call for good scripts that weren't getting made into movies resulted in the official blacklist, which has helped numerous independent filmmakers see their projects to completion. Robert D. Smith, CEO of Vista Equity Partners, traced his success back to his childhood, where he attended a better school across town due to Denver's newly desegregated busing system. In 2019, Smith announced that he would pay the student debt of everyone graduating from Morehouse, a historically black college, effectively scaling up the lives of hundreds of graduates. Scaling up a business can allow entrepreneurs to do good that can be exponential. By taking care of their employees, filling a need in society, or paying it forward, successful entrepreneurs can make a positive social impact while also growing their businesses. Summary. The key message in this book is that scaling up a business can be a complex process, but with the right strategies and mindset, it can lead to tremendous success. One of the most important factors in scaling up is creating a positive and supportive culture, which starts with exceptional leadership. Leaders who listen, learn, and accept constructive criticism are more likely to inspire their teams and keep them motivated. Another important piece of advice is to focus on providing an exceptional customer experience. To achieve this, entrepreneurs should aim to go beyond the best and imagine an 11-star version of their product or service. By striving to exceed customer expectations, 
businesses can stand out in a competitive market and create loyal customers who will spread the word about their offerings. Overall, the book emphasizes the importance of being bold, creative, and open-minded when scaling up a business. By embracing new ideas, taking calculated risks, and investing in their teams, entrepreneurs can build successful companies that make a positive impact on society. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content. Trust me, you won't regret it.